Hey, Alicorn Radio, I heard you wanted to do a show with us. I want to do a show with you too. Let's fight. Yeah, our show is much better than yours. Yeah, right. Our randomness will take over the world. Oh, our news topic will, well, inform people of stuff. And we talk about things people don't know really think about. Oh, yeah, let me call in my co-host. Daniel, why don't you handle this? Yes, sir, do we have a problem here? You know what? You know what? I'm going to call Crazy Clay. Take care of this guy. Hello. <laughs> he so... sounds silly. How do you even work with him? Because, because he's silly. How is my crazy? Oh, yeah? You know what? I think we should do a show together right now and see who's best. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Oh, yeah! Okay. Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 27. And we have a special episode for you guys because we're working with Elegant Radio. Yes, that's right. We are currently doing a cooperation episode so we can just do something together. This is what this is what all about the Brony community is about. Love and tolerance, cooperation, and awesome. Right. So I, <laughs> we have Crazy Clay trying to sing and also the MBS show will put his guy in. I, sorry, I don't know your name. Danny. Exactly. Oh, never mind. Let me introduce you to him. I have Daniel Anthony with me. Hello. Anyway, let's Stop. go on and go through the normal MBS show because actually they have a whole thing set up and it's nice and neat and oh my god, it's amazing. Though I'm not normally going to do it anyway because <laughs> I'm just lazy. Um, okay, we got through the Yeah, this never works and- out for us. Every time we try to do a script, we get way, way off topic. Okay, okay, okay. Since we're all here... And we want to go with the normal thing that NBS show does. Favorite pony, I say every pony. Unless I have to get specific. If I have to go specific, it would be Fluttershy. Yay. Good choice. Favorite princess, Luna. Favorite main six, Twilight Sparkle. Favorite villain, Chrysalis. Oh, yeah. You answer the question just like I do. I have five parts to the question, which is favorite. I like, in favorite main six, I like Pinkie Pie. Non main six is Charlie. Favorite foal would be Twist. Favorite princess would be Celestia. And um, of course, favorite pitch Bible pony would have to be Surprise. I had to put that in because I love Surprise too much. Cool. Well, as for me, I like Fluttershy. There are some other ponies I would like to say, but I'm leaving that for our website, which you can go there. I'll tell you guys where later. So, guys, favorite episode? You got a website now? Not really. No, we always did. Are you talking about your Facebook page? Well, we're on Facebook, Twitter, we have our own blog. That's the MBS show at blogspot.com. Am I right? We need an actual website. You know what? 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 We should actually do more cooperation later. I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Yes. Let, yes. Let, yeah. let the let the listeners figure out like what is he talking about? Yeah. And why are we derping? Oh God! He's gonna take them over. Okay. So, um, second question of our show: What is your favorite episode? Favorite episode? Oh God! I would have to say. The poison joke one, and I forget what it's called. A uh, birdie gossip, I believe. Yeah. Bridal gossip. Bridal gossip. There's no birdie yes. in episode, sadly. Because I like the poison joke kind of thing, and I actually have used it in my own fan fiction where my main character changes into Celestia. Wait, you write? Sounds like Celestia. Looks like Celestia, but it's not Celestia. You write fan fiction. What's the title of your story? <laughs> Crystal corn, all corn. It's actually pretty Mary Sue. If I, I have to read it a couple of times. Like, yeah, it's like Mary Sue, but oh well. I've tortured my character enough to be acceptable in my standards. <laughs> standards. We have some. We have some. <laughs> so, Clay, what about yours? Okay, mine is either going to be Luna Eclipse or the uh, Royal Wedding Part 1 and 2. Awesome. I like Luna Eclipse. That's my favorite episode, too. Daniel, what's yours? I have to go with a friend indeed because if Pinkie Pie sings, it becomes awesome. 100% yeah, 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 yeah. cooler. Um, I gotta yeah. say, normally, normally I kind of skip the songs, except this I Love Care, the pig song, and <laughs> I didn't, actually, the grumpy one, when I, uh, when I started to start singing, I didn't listen to the Smile, Smile, Smile song until after I actually saw it on YouTube, like, wait, is this actually a fan-made one, or is this the actual episode? <laughs> then I actually looked back, and like, oh, it is! This is actually a good song! Why did I do this? <laughs> Oh, you miss out no. a lot, man. You miss out a lot. No. <laughs> I, the only thing I skip is the theme song. But I always skip theme song. But songs, that's the so, best part. Yeah. She just after you watch it about five times, she's like, yeah, I know how it goes. Unless they so do I something new. Skip all theme songs, no matter what they are. Like, oh, that, yeah, that so. is what differentiates the true bronies. Like, we had public screenings here in Malaysia a couple of times, and... The 
moment of truth is when the theme song comes on, you see people running and hiding. <laughs> I don't know. I can actually sing it and stuff. It's just I really would like to get to the episode because that's just how I am with all my it's TV. Like, yeah, I do the same thing with Big Bang Theory, Scrubs, South Park, everything. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Anyway, um, how did you become a fan of the show? Oh, I'll go, I'll go first with that one, actually. There's actually a webcomic called Sa- uh, Sandra and Wu. I love that comic strip a lot, because at the time it was part of the furry community, and I was that was one that I really liked. It was about a raccoon that could talk normally, and it was a very good comic strip. Then they put something up about the herd. I'm like, okay. And I looked at it, I was like, wait, this is My Little Pony. I let it off for a few days, and then I looked at it, I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot. If I don't like it, oh well. Then I watched it, I got addicted. And it was like the first five episodes were out at the time. So I'm like a first season brony. That's where I got started. But I didn't really become part of the brony community until after the uh, season two ended. Because I didn't really saw it out. I just watched the show. I liked it. Oh my. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, well, this long time ago in a month called July, a friend of mine from kind of far away from where I live was uh, coming down here and visiting us. Uh, he, let me tell you something about him. He really loves metal music and he's a big time military buff so when i heard he liked my little pony i was like wait there's what? something good with this show if he likes it oh, let me look military, this up <laughs> a lot of military people love love it it's like i actually saw it's like the the um the actual uh, military group that's that it was a huge thing that went on over through a lot of articles a lot of well-known articles about this uh brony military group these are people in uniform that save people's lives and kill them too. <laughs> protect. <laughs> Promise they're trained that way. It's not their fault. I cannot. I, I can't really blame them. They want some love and tolerance too, because you kind of get sick and tiring at the train for war when you just want some peace. That's all you want. It's like, what's wrong with that? True. I wonder. Should we tell our story of how we became a fan of the show to balance things I out? Like, I like your story, Norman. Why don't you tell it? Oh, okay. Um. Well. <laughs> I was on DeviantArt, um, still am, and I noticed that a few people that I watch are posting pony stuff. So, like, okay, I think I should ignore this because I'm not into ponies. I like manly stuff. Like, That's not a word! <laughs> explosions. <laughs> yeah. Cool guys yeah. don't look at explosions. <laughs> Set them off and they walk away. Uh, yep. So, anyway, after a few weeks or months... I thought, hey, why not? I mean, let me try and watch the first episode. I mean, if I don't like it, I don't like it. I mean, yes, there's no no harm. Give it, give, give it a shot, and if you like, you like it. But when yeah. you, it, that, that's where it gets like you were just pulled in right there. <laughs> like, why is it so appealing? Oh yes, that's true. So I did. I watched the first episode, and crap, it's a two-parter. And never mind. Let me try the second episode. Hmm. This is entertaining. Let me try the third episode. Maybe it gets boring here. No, they use a reference of an old show I can't remember now. And on and on and on, till the Cutie Mark Crusaders show up. Okay, this is going to be bad because they're showing Cutie Mark Crusaders. And everybody knows that kids in this kind of show sucks. They proved me wrong. They proved everyone wrong. Like, well, except for the haters. The haters don't. The haters hate everything. It's like, the haters you know, going to hate. It is gonna hate, but it doesn't stop me from making fun of them in a way, right? True indeed. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nah, that's real. That's that's mean. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I should edit that out. I think so. What? <laughs> like, no, I'm not editing it out. It's like you can edit out all you want. I'm gonna keep it in. Alicorn <laughs> <laughs> Radio. Alicorn Radio is the MBS show uncensored. <laughs> Uncut. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so Daniel, what about you? How did you become a fan of the show? Basically, my show is almost like yours in Rewind. <laughs> my DeviantArt account was just made a couple of months ago. <laughs> but basically, I started because um, I'm addicted to watching YouTube poop because I like watching people do very stupid things and taking things out of context. So I got, I, I basically got addicted and every day you'll see me in front of a computer and the same sounds will come up but just different visuals because they'll be like, What the crap? Boom! And... I'm a far in my laser. And oh, I love it. That is yeah. the greatest one ever. I love laser the collection. Vision. And I was looking for laser. Uh-huh. And then I came across this one video which was like, louder, yay, louder, yay, louder. I'm a far in my laser. Boom. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> okay, what I can totally is... imagine that. I mean, like, I've seen enough YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I've been like, okay, for every YouTube poop I watch, I usually look for the original source of it. Which, I, at that time, I was in the Care Bear fandom. I used to watch Care Bears like mad. And uh, the series what? ended. What? Yes, I watched Care Bears. Problem? Good, I'm serious. And what happened is, the series has ended, and I'm basically re-watching episodes, and they're getting boring. And what happened is, I look for Care Bears poop, but the trouble is, Care Bears YouTube poop is made with the Generation 2, but I was watching the Generation 3. And then I said, okay, fine, let's just try some other things. Remove Care Bears from the search term. Just go YouTube poop. And then suddenly these ponies started showing up. And I'm like, all right, my policy is if I watch the poop, I must watch the original footage. So I began hunting down the comments and all that. And I, my first episode was actually a very weird choice. It was, um, what was that one? Uh, Call of the Cutie, which was an Apple Bloom episode. So basically the first pony I actually knew the name of was Apple Bloom. And from there, it just went up. And I'm like, this is the new Care Bears. They're basically my new addiction. All right, time to go. I, 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 it's like Care Bears. I never liked Care Bears. I'm sorry. It's just no, it's never okay. fun. Ponies are better. Yeah, ponies are better. Are better. It's like I, I think I think my younger self would kill me if I if you heard me say that. So I mean, like, I say ponies are better because I came from the Care Bear fandom when ponies basically when you mentioned My Little Pony to me, I'm like no 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 because Hasbro used to advertise in our local cinemas quite aggressively and they used the G3 ponies and I'm like I am no way in hell gonna watch this. I I don't think so. We're biased, right? We're not biased yeah, about ponies. Ponies basically became my new Pokemon because I was a part of the Pokemon fandom. I did a bunch of comp- I tried to do a bunch of competitive battling too and it, stuff. Am I the only one that actually thinks I it actually started with ponies? Ponies? I didn't get it from someone else. There's something else. Someone else. Something else. Some pony else. I think you <laughs> might be the only one here that didn't get it from some pony else. Did you go through did, what they call the five stages? You know, the one first one denial. And, uh, no, first of yes, all, I did. I did. I, I realized that. And I said, oh, crap, I'm going through those stages. <laughs> that was bad. Part of me was like, this is bad. Someone's going to find <laughs> out I'm so screwed. Even hmm. more so being a furry. <laughs> furry, it's understandable. This makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, it's basically that sense. joke that I switched my browser to. That's not a word. Because that would be easier to explain <laughs> to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so true. Yeah, I always switch it to a YouTube tab I have open of, like, some sort of video game. Yeah, footage. You want to know the weird thing is about the whole situation? My mom watched the, uh, watches ponies. My uncle watches ponies. My cousin watches ponies. I don't know about myself, but I think he avoids it like the plague. <laughs> but I, I'm going to say, I'm pretty happy because I have not run into many haters in my area. I'm like, I'm relaxed. A lot of my family's like, oh, ponies are going. I I'm got off on the wrong footing. Well, they're like, welcome to the herd. <laughs> Welcome to the herd! We have marshmallows. Like looking down, I, I watch ponies. It's about time! Oh, it's about dark time. Yeah, I haven't ran into many haters in real life because I don't tell anybody. Oh, because, Closet Brody! <laughs> yes, because there's a reason for that. Because way back when, freshman year, last few days of school, there was exams. After exams were over, we basically just had to sit in the lunchroom for an hour after we got done with our exams, because I was one of the smart kids that uh, finished their exam, like, in 10 seconds flat. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so I just had my uh, GBA SP in my pocket, and uh, I had Pokemon Ruby. Oh, okay. And I was playing it, and I got belittled for it constantly. I still get picked on because I played Pokemon after exams. So, oh, yeah, I'll something you. as awesome as Pokemon that is more mainstream than ponies. I don't think I can really tell anybody that I'm a brony. <laughs> because if I get flack for liking Pokemon, then yeah. But similarly, I got off on a bad footing as well oh, because people were like, you watch Care Bears? What is wrong with you? It's basically because they're in like a land where everything is heart-shaped. It's more aggressive <laughs> than ponies. Like Equestria has hearts everywhere. Care Bears has hearts no, everywhere no, no, in no. everywhere. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. Their yeah. noses are heart shaped. <laughs> On everything, really. Yeah, you know the telephone is heart shaped. You go, they even have a courtroom, and the hammer in the courtroom is heart shaped. <laughs> <laughs> I send you to death by love. <laughs> that reminds me of Futurama. I send you to death by snoo snoo. Ah, you did it. <laughs> Basically, like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> by snoo snoo. <laughs> 
If I ever have to get capital punishment, I don't know, one of my head chopped off by a heart shaped axe. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed yeah. something. We already went into the fourth question. What do your family and friends think about your love for the show? <laughs> we didn't touch much well, on family. Who says we have to follow the rules? Screw the rules. Well, actually... The family. Screw well, the rules. I have donuts. <laughs> Wait, no, I never mind. <laughs> well, technically, you already went in before I can ask. So, you listen to our show more than we listen to our own show. <laughs> Let's move on to the show notes. Shards of Equestria is no more. So, Ethan, you want to read the whole thing? Yes! I will read the whole thing! Yeah! Challenge accepted! Challenge read it, accepted! Read it, read it, read it, read it. Play. it doesn't matter Play. if it's... Play. Sorry. Play. I'm reading here. <laughs> Sorry. I've been listening to Weird Al lately. Ooh, you love Weird Al. Yes. Ooh, we gotta talk. Right now, I wanna talk. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Shards of Equestria receives a cease and assist by Hasbro. It looks like Shards of Equestria has been hit by crazy lawyers over Hasbro legal department. As the you know, as the norm, they have required to protect the property by U.S. law, and the specifics of a cease and assist have not been made released. Keep an eye on the death log for information exactly what's going down. Yes, we need to build down our card game from scratch. Uh, Magic the Gathering seems like a Great template, but I'm sure we can think of something new. Get on the smart... Uh, get, get, it on, get it on, smart people. Get on the... Yo, you were reading from EQD? I was reading from the actual article, man. The actual article. Oh, well, my article's, um, well, filtered out. Well, filtered to make it easier for other people to listen. And if they're interested, they just click on the link. Well, since you read on the actual article, it makes my life easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay, life easier, complete. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I have helped help help people. <laughs> Yay! The links can be found in the show notes. Yay! So anyway, what do you guys think? Like, Charles of Equestria getting a cease and desist, that sucks. It sucks! Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I've actually seen some very crazy debts for Magic the Gathering, actually. Uh, some of them I will not go into detail because of specific reasons, and I bet you know why. I got no idea. I play Magic a bit, and I still got no idea. <laughs> Good. Let's, let's keep it that way. Oh. I must don't know. play Magic, and I haven't played Shards of Equestria, so I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, um, Shards of Equestria is a replica of Magic the Gathering. Like It's a, almost a one-to-one ratio to the whole game. If I were to print out a few cards and play it with some of my Magic friends, they'll say, hey, this is interesting. Let me try your deck. It's like you can actually play it. It's like it actually works. Yeah, and well balanced too. The claim is fully just bonafide. Indeed. I'm sad that Harrisboro. It's like what? what Harrisboro should have said season six. Say, hey, 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 we'll hire you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Here's a million bucks. Do this more. <laughs> do but it for more. us. Yep. But for us, you're you're gonna do it for <laughs> doing it for the actual company. It's like oh, sweet. we'll be rich. We'll be the rich on my stream. Uh, well, it's too bad that they have to stop it, really, because if Bronies were to play Magic, wow, awesome. Yeah, and they oh, start man. bringing the wrong you know, cards to the tournament. I actually, I actually pointed this out in my own podcast, but I will point out this one, that Bronies are actually helping the economy, if you really think about it. Yeah, they true. They actually are in the economy, because they're actually making the money go around. A lot, there are Bronies that are rich, that actually are spending money on plushies and a lot of other stuff, to kind of merchandise, and the money is spreading around. Fan-made... The actual company, it's spreading. The money is spreading out, where it should be doing. And that actually helps uh, our type of government and all other governments that do follow with the same economy. Yeah, that's true. But the thing with companies is they want to cut out of that money. Like Hasbro, they want their cut. Well, Hasbro should understand that they should love and tolerate and deal with it. Because yeah. honestly, they have started something they cannot control. Yeah, it's true. But also, it's by law. They have to protect their own products and whatnot. Well, if they did like something like, yeah, if they would actually give licenses, like a like limited license for people that do make fan-made stuff and they want to actually go to a higher level, that Hasbro would offer them, that might be a smart move. And they might be able to make some money, but without taking too much and not taking too little, that it actually supports the, all the effort to put in all these licensings, but allow people to be more free-form 
without trying to break the Hasbro name. Yeah, it's true. But if yeah, you're no, talking about sorry, if you're talking about Magic right now, it's a totally different ball game because like Shards of Equestria yeah. is dealing with two properties right now, one Magic and one Ponies. So ugh, difficult it's, thing. Hints or movement, two fronts being attacked at once. That's a bad call. Military mm. tactics here. I can't believe I mentioned them. And it totally flew over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's move and on to like, the... Meow. Meow. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's move on. Since since they talked about the Shards of Equestria and they got started, I get to talk about Middle East McDonald's are getting ponies. Oh, yeah! They don't like McDonald's, to tell you the truth. Probably because I worked there, but... Nah. <laughs> Dude, I, I worked there. I loved it. McDonald's. How well, my, I had to... That's not a word! Manager. I had a complete... That's not a word! Manager, oh, you did? So. I actually... I yeah. knew the store manager directly. Some of the managers did not mess with me. Some of them <laughs> had... Sometimes if they had to send me home or anything like that, or I had to leave, they couldn't really write me up. If they wrote me up, they might have an issue with the store manager. <laughs> I was like... I was in the safe zone. But I was really easy going. And I told them, like, be honest with me. I'm not going to really get mad if I'm honestly told. So, actually, I got really well friendships, I think, that many hours. And when I left, oh, my God, the shift I got was tremendously long. It was a long shift. It was longer than eight hours. It was ten. Whoa. I know people do it, like, a lot. It's like, that's a long shift. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read this so you guys be quiet this time. Aww. Yes, sir. You guys, you guys like to talk over me. So I was like, I'm like that. I'm like that royal. It's like I kind of want to talk. I'm nice for the first few times, but if you keep on talking over me, I'm gonna get mad. If you He's listen to the show, to the moon. <laughs> be quiet, play. If you listen to the show and you've been in the Middle East, then you're in luck. The Happy Meal promotion of the month of September is gonna go to the Transformers. The My Little Pony friendship is magic. Oh yeah, Transformers roll out. I can't believe it. Transformers are coming to McDonald's. Unfortunately, not all the ponies are going to be on sale. So they're not going to have Applejack or Cherry Lee. Applejack is best. It's best because freaking Earth ponies are boss. Cherry Lee's an Earth pony as well. Yeah, but I, it's like I'm talking about the main six when I was trying to say that. Like, mm. no, no offense to Cherry Lee. Cherry Lee is awesome too because she is also a therefore boss. But Applejack is more boss because she can, she bucks trees and uses apples for ammunition. Mm. Cherry Lee teaches apple bloom. So yeah, the future of Applejack. Do you want to know who taught uh, Cherry Lee when she was in uh, Ponyville, when she was young? Bob Dylan? <laughs> Mayor. Sweetie Belle? Oh. Mayor Mayor. Oh, okay. Do you want to know why I know that? Why? In the show, because when you go back when Rarity was young, Mayor Mayor was the teacher. Really? And I think I saw Cherry Lee in uh, one of the positions. Yeah, uh, in Cherry Lee was there. So, yeah. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mayor Mayor Bannon was here. Bannon is here. But, so you're telling me that the teachers, when they get older, be- instantly become mayor. Mm. Is what I'm thinking. It's like some head Well, candy. they are bears! <laughs> get it? <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, shit! Well, that is interesting. I want to see that scene again. When I look back at it now, it's like, check it out. It's like, well, uh, there was the uh, cutie mark. Uh, Chronicles? Story. Chronicles, yeah. Freedom of Chronicles. Uh, when they talk about it. And it was the... Uh, Rarity story. So, yeah. Okay, I'll take a look at it later. So, guys, McDonald's in Middle East. So, you guys already had the McDonald's toys first. So, how is it? How was it? Is it okay? Wait, in what fashion? Well, the 2012 version with, I'm calling them keychain ponies. I'm confused. You've confused me. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about how my job was or the toys? Because I never got the toys. I'm not sure. The last time I was... Even set foot in McDonald's was February, so... Whoa. If I remember right, it was in February they're going to be released for you guys, the keychain ponies. I was not really thinking about it at the time. I didn't know they had the uh, ponies, and even then I was not going to order a freaking Happy Meal. <laughs> I don't think yeah, at that time, that. I didn't even know anything I, about I, I was hungry, something. Dude. So. I am not going to order something <sighs> at all. I want something big. And honestly, I don't think I don't think I want other people to like, that's me just like googly eyes over freaking ponies. <laughs> I think at the time, it's not really into ponies. That much. I thought you were a fan before 2012. I was. I watched the show, but I really didn't seek it out. Uh, I didn't uh, seek out. Okay. I loved the show, but I didn't seek out anything more. Oh, so meaning you didn't get the 2012 keychain ponies then? 
if they do any more ponies, which hopefully I'll have a job by then, because I'm actually today, as soon as this is done, uh, I'm going to go apply for GameStop, uh, mm-hmm. Chick-fil-A, and Subway. But I'll probably go by there and just go through the drive through Not the one I was at, but like another one, because I don't want to ever set foot on the <laughs> parking lot of the one I was at, at the McDonald's I was at, and since there's three around where I live. That's easily done. But I'll just go in and be like, like every few days I'd be like, order two Happy Meals and maybe something regular off the menu. Just get the Happy Meals for my nieces. Just steal their toys. <laughs> <laughs> just steal their toys. Be like, so sorry, they ran out of toys. <laughs> well, Clay, you do know they're not selling them for you, right? You're not getting any <laughs> pony toys. It's only for the Middle East. Yeah, I know, um, but I don't they ever part. do have them again. Ah, uh, all right. Actually, they do <laughs> have it out in this area. I actually, I knew that they had it out here in this area for a little while. I was like, oh, wow. But, what do you think the next wave is going to be? The first wave was, I can't remember, had a base. This one's a keychain. What do you think the next one's going to be? Complete brushable? No, no. Too much probably. budget in that one. They have probably, to spend too much. I, I, probably not a brushable. I, I would have to agree. Background ponies? What do you think the next wave is going to be? Uh-huh. Mm, You're asking the know. wrong guy. We I'm going to guess it's going to be Invader Zim. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have Invader Zim, I'm going to have to say Powerpuff Girls. Invader Zim slash Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls. Ponies. That are both, those are both the toys. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Actually, you said that you can't. You don't want a Happy Meal because it's too small. Basically, the full McDonald's meal here, we actually realize it's almost the same size as a Happy Meal in other countries. <laughs> it's the same size everywhere. I don't think so. Okay. Except for in America, where we're all fat, apparently. And basically, we don't have super oh. size here, and we also have halal laws that govern our food, so, yeah, it's pretty small. If so does the Middle East. You don't see them complaining about their McDonald's size. Not yet. I don't know if they have halal laws that govern the fast food chains, do they? Oh, man. You cannot believe how awesome it was actually going to McDonald's in the uh, Philippines. They knew who you are. They made sure your friends were fresh. <laughs> Almost like, yes! <laughs> Light, lightly salted... Fresh, fresh fries that were just just done. Yeah, I could what? just imagine this. Hey, I'm Ethan Powell, and I want fresh fries. Fresh, not not. Don't put in the oil. <laughs> now, here <laughs> cold. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> round two. Yeah, when I it's Ethan, 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 get the fries. Get the fries. Probably, probably another reason why it was probably not really the best place is because we didn't always use the freshest food. There you have it. Yeah. Okay, well, Pony Toys, Middle East. Let's hope they enjoy them all, except for Applejack. Come over here, come to Malaysia, we need Pony Toys. We have the brushable, so let's be happy with that. Yeah, it's hanging from my rear view mirror. Pinkie Pie's my guardian angel. Okay. It's getting that time, it's getting close to the end. No, it cannot be! Let's do this again. We are going to do this again. I demand it. I royally demand this! I hereby decree that we shall do more joint point podcasts because stuff. Actually, that is my reason. We are far from the end, boys. Yep. That's just the news. Wait. wait. Um, if I'm looking at the thing here, the notes say it's guest time and then yep. email time and then shout outs. It's close to the end with my view. Well, we have questions for you. Yes, guest time oh, is the longest questions. time. Guest time is the longest time? Yeah. Now sit down. <laughs> oh, crap. Who is talk? Well, do you have any questions for us? We can bounce back questions. Let's start with you guys. What inspired okay, you to start Alicorn Radio? What inspired Alicorn Radio? Me. That Ooh. was it. It was me. Honestly, I'm being yeah. honest here. I just came out of my way and said, who wants to do a podcast? I want to do it. And I was like, I'm going to do it now. And <laughs> Clay, Brony Nominus, and Lord Pretty Pie were the first ones that got started, and we did the first episode. And then later we got a few other people. One of one of the co-hosts has not been on the podcast yet, and we need to get that person on. That's from France. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I have people all over the world. Yeah, you're gonna Most get a French fries from there. Oh, that's don't, don't racist. That. That's just racist. That that's that's horrible. That's a French oh. fry. <laughs> 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 So you started Elecon Radio just because you wanted to start Elecon Radio. I just wanted to start it. I just wanted, you know what? All these people are doing this fun stuff on uh, podcasts. Rooster Teeth is one of them. I said, you know what? I'm doing a 
radio podcast. I don't care if there's any others. I don't care how how small I feel. I'm going to overcome it and just tell people things that they need to hear. Yes. Maybe things that they would not even know of and just like to share. Just spread the word. One small step for just alicorns. Alicorns. One more small step for alicorns, one big leap for Ethan Bow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So... How do you came up with the name Elegant Radio? Um, it was a couple of names I wanted to put up together, but since of most of the OCs that were in the co-hosts, we thought Alicorn Radio would be the best. And all the other names I had, I didn't like. So I was like, you know, Alicorn Radio, that's it. I checked the name on YouTube, didn't have it. Just went crazy trying to set it all up. It's like, mine now! <laughs> two weeks later, two weeks and a half, I believe I got the domain. So I, So it's almost been about a month. No, no, it's actually the 8th. The 8th of uh, next month is when it's been a full month of this podcast. And we already have about 16 full episodes. Wow, wow congratulations. No, 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 no. 16 episodes, but not full. Uh, we have 6 or 7 full episodes. It's around there. Wow. It's, all, it's, it's, it's on the YouTube channel. I'll have to look at it. I'm too lazy right now. I understand. But that's, that's my excuse. I'm, I'm comfy on this really soft, like, fluffy royal pillow. It's, like, it's so soft. I love it. So, okay, um, how do you guys record your show? Like, how do you do it? Oh, uh, uh, TeamSpeak has its own record, which records in a WAV format, and the bit rate is like 1,562 kilobytes a second, or bytes a second. It's big. I've actually had a file that was uh, one hour and one minute long, 677 megabytes. Wow. Wow. I had to compress, I got to convert it, and once, after it's converted, it's like less, it's like about a thousand, and I, I, I like the thousand better than six thousand, or six hundred. <laughs> I said thousand, why? One thousand, a thousand, that's over nine hundred. <laughs> well, our show over file is, oh, let me see, our show file is just what, 21.8 megabytes? Huh. Okay. Yeah. You guys have a lot smaller file than we do then. Yeah, but that's a full episode before editing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So we shave all the fat off, trim it here, trim it there, cut some corners, and bang, we have a episode. Yeah, but sometimes the episode goes bigger because I add in the intro and outro. Really? Can the music outdo our derps? <laughs> if we use a high-fidelity song, maybe. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know, I have to look at it I again. I don't think you guys have really derped at all this episode. Well, we actually... control ourselves and let you talk. Oh, so I, th- I think I really covered your derps then. I think I, think I really fill in those gaps where the derps would have been. So, um, guys, when do you record and when does your show get posted? It normally gets recorded and recorded on each Friday at least. I actually do random episodes throughout the week. I mean, if I find someone, I pull them and they're available, you record. That's how it. That's how it's roll. That's how it rolls with me. Oh, I'm in the mood. I record. Your full episodes are on Friday, and some random episodes on any other day you like it. Absolutely, full episodes are actually uh, forty-five minutes or longer, up to ninety minutes. Um, our minisodes are like about below forty-five minutes to half an hour, and our microsodes are like about very small, like tiny, <laughs> like hardly anything there. <laughs> But it's something to put out there so people can just like, yay. Oh, so it's almost like what we do because what we have is the full episodes. Like we're up to episode 27 now and we have, what, four mini episodes? No, sorry, um, I think it's three mini episodes and two specials. I'm not even mini, that's micro. No, I mean, it's, it's less than one megabyte each, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's like, for us it's mini because we just sing birthday songs. Yeah. And two special episodes that were well it's the same thing like what you do if we find a guest we just call them in so we had two of those nothing special really uh, here's a question for you guys how was it like interviewing Zelda? Mm-hmm. well it was kind of interesting because oh, as I said it was a very last minute thing basically we had no guest on a Saturday night and we were like that normal like Daniel what you gonna do and like I don't know what you gonna do and basically, we had this infinite loop, and then I was like, wait, Feldo usually appears offline, so I guess I'll just leave a message and ask him whether he's free or not. And he says, um, okay, uh, why don't we do it now? And I'm like, you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just on 3G, and uh, it would be a bit derpy. But his connection was super strong. He was in, where was he again? Um, Bulgaria. 
Yeah, Bulgaria, that 3G there. He's sending awesome. the clear of that episode. He's sending the clear out of Olya. Yeah, I mean, that was weird to say. Seriously, amazing 3G connection he had. He disconnected a couple of times, but otherwise he was dead clear. True indeed. But oh, wait, before we continue on with our story, um, when do you guys post your episodes? Where do we post our episodes? When, sorry, when? when? Oh, I, I post it normally on the same day. I, I normally yeah, edit them. Yeah, edit them, edit them, and post them the same day, and I see them on YouTube, and I'm like, yay. It's, uh, sometimes, sometimes it'll take a full day if it's long, and there's a lot of errors to filter out. But normally, if it gets that bad, I say, we're going to record this. So... You guys are not going to bed yet. <laughs> you guys are going to stay up, and you're going to do another hour with me. Oh, God. Mess it up. You're doing it right this time. Oh, God. Yeah, it's harder on me when he wants to record late at night for him, because I live about five hours ahead of him. Oh, boy. So oh, right boy. now, it's probably morning for him. It's two o'clock for me. Oh, boy. Time zone. Don't you just love them? Anyway, so um, how do you guys promote your show? And where do you promote it? How do we promote it? Mm, we yeah. It everywhere. We go to Pony Square. We go to. We update our thread on the MLP forums. We also go to. I go to multiple different places, but I won't say now. No, I just go to um, go to my DeviantArt. Which, since you guys said you had DeviantArt, you can actually favorite me. I'm actually Drakeel D R K E A L. That's my name on DeviantArt. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out. So yeah. You can add me there as well. And yeah, that's where another place I will get stuff all set up and let people know. Because I got watches yeah. and they're awesome. And they also set, spread the word. Oh, cool. I yeah, got to try that one out. My, <laughs> how I advertise the show, because I, because he's already beaten me to basically every single kind of account you can make. I put on the MLP forums like, hey, I'm a part of Alicorn Radio. You should listen to it. And I uh, advertise our forums by posting a link in my uh, signature that's like, hey, hey, click here. <laughs> click here. No other right explanation, now. just like, click here. <laughs> oh, it's one oh, of no, those. It's got, well that way. it's got even amounts of curiosity and spam going on in your head, like, <laughs> to do or not to do. Because oh. basically, I, don't, I actually avoid, I normally avoid trying to post any more of the episodes on my status messages that much anymore on the MLP forums because I don't want to spam. I, I just do what's necessary, and that's it. Normally, my co-host will do the rest if they want to. Sometimes that could be a lot. And if I'm not doing it, it cannot be so bad if my co-hosts are doing it. And even then, it's bad. So if, if the people watch it also promote it, then that's like, that's not much under on my control. You just want to promote your show. It's been out of control. Out of control. Viral. Vi- get viral. Okay, what, what about you all in China, you know? <laughs> oh, man, if I got freaking Chinese listeners, that'd be amazing. Well, you oh, do yeah, have... Oh, yeah, they got Alicorn Radio, they got Alicorn Radio, <laughs> Some you... Chinese are gonna listen to that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Dude, I... Unacceptable. That's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, technically, Daniel here is half Chinese, so <laughs> you do have Chinese listeners. Halfway. <laughs> okay, what is something that you would want to do? I'm gonna ask this to everyone, even Clay. What is one of your goals in your life? Just what, what what's your goal in life? Hmm. I got no idea. You want the practical goal or the goal that we all dream of that we may never be able to see? Or does it relate to MLP or whatever? It can be MLP, it can be not. It's just your goal, your dream, what you want to do. Hmm. Right now, I kind of actually want to become a computer technician. Really? Hmm. As for me, uh, my short-term goal for the show is I want to make it to one year's worth of episodes. Awesome. Daniel? Me, uh, wait, for the show or for my personal life? Because my personal life, I want to become basically a, produ- a media producer. For the show, basically, I just want to be here for every episode and just... Yeah, I enjoy doing this because I also do another podcast on my own for my university. And basically, I learn a lot from this show and um, I believe that Norman learns a bit from my show as well. So yeah, together we are unstoppable. I don't... Together, you'll rule the world. Uh, uh, unless I stand your way, and then that might be a problem. <laughs> oh, unless I slip you a 20. If, if, yeah. if you slip me a 20, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> well, I'll okay, I'll slip you a like, thousand. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, would you rather me kill you with a $20 note? <laughs> oh, death, sir. I don't think you want that. <laughs> death, death by 20. <laughs> My $20 bill. Oh, I just made a bad joke to another reference that I don't want to remember. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, my, my, 
okay, do you want realistic fantasy general goals or, <laughs> or, 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 the, or the whole ch- chicken caboodle? Why not both? I want the chicken caboodle. You want the want chicken both. caboodle? You want both? Do you want all? Okay. You can okay, stop with the chicken caboodle. My realistic goal is um, right now, is I want to actually get a good, decent job that I like to do, like game design. I don't care if I'm being paid much. I just want a job that I love to do. And with my type of personality, I'm flexible. Um, <laughs> flexible. <laughs> oh, shush. <laughs> Next dream um, that I, I think is really on the rails, I, I would love to, I want to actually have my Alicorn OC actually be canon. I actually want to be shown, shown in the show and actually say something in the show. I would be so happy, and my life would feel so great if I was canon. It's selfish, but oh well. That's my dream. Deal with it. Wait, so what if all he said was derp? Derp? <laughs> yes. I, I want to be All he of... said was derp. <laughs> the derp cannon. You know, it's a, it's a derp cannon thingy. Uh, oh, well. I mean, those are reasonable goals, I think. Okay, the one last goal. Um, I want to take over the world. Honestly, yes. <laughs> I, I yeah, think I'll be able to do it right. Brain, 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 brain. I'm with you. I'm with you on that, man. <laughs> because honestly, I'm, I'm, I, just, I just want the world to like, understand, like, we don't need to kill each other. Why? Why? I know everyone has three things, but why don't we force anyone else? That's why I want to be. Uh, and you can't play. deny this. You know, if you have a crystal horn unicorn ruler of the world, you know, it'll be a better place. Just saying. Like, just saying. I, I would still be worried as heck, though. It's like, if I had all that power, I would still be worried. It's like, man, I do one bad thing. People are going to... People are not going to like it. Yeah, Damn, but you know, yeah. you can actually... Do something to make people happy. Demolish every single prison in the world because, you know, we have a single planet revolving around the Earth that we could use. How is that even a good idea if we demolish all the prisons? Send all the prisoners to the moon with your moon cannon. <laughs> that works. Actually, I'm So we have more real estate, places to build pony farms. <laughs> that sounded so bad. It sounded bad! <laughs> Okay, my last question for you guys is, is this your first online radio show or have you done it before? Uh, for this me, my personally, first. first. Yeah, first. Oh, really? First thing. Just did it. Went yep. for it. For both of you? Yep. Yep. Hmm. We can be podcast brothers. But it's not my first show. I know. That's why I said to the both of them, we can be brothers. <laughs> oh, this is one thing. That's like, uh, one thing I would like to point out there, we actually are trying to go after a radio stream sooner or later. Ooh. So we actually might need to actually have other podcasts join in with us so we actually have more shows that can be placed on the stream. Like so you want to start a shoutcast stream? Pretty much. Pretty much Icecast, shoutcast, whatever kind of cast you want to go with. Mm. All right. I like Icecast because I've used it because I've been... Uh... Yeah, Icecast is great stuff. I like oh, Icecast. Okay. What is Icecast? I'm going to sound like a noob here, but... You are a noob! <laughs> noob! <laughs> no, it's basically just... Uh, let's just say, you know, that your radio, there's FM and there's AM. Yeah, for the internet, there's Icecast, shoutcast, cast, 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 whatever cast. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's not my cast. Yo, dog. Or cast, like cast. cast. So we put cast in cast. 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 So you can listen to cast. Closing cast. While you listen to cast. Oh, Monster boy. cast. <laughs> Replacing kill with cat. <laughs> oh, boy. Cast. Destroy. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> okay, Norman. I think we've really been doing this for an hour at least. This has been at least an hour recording. Um, yep. Yeah, it has. Yep. Yep, and I was worth a hundred so it's only six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it's only been six minutes. Dude, the longer we record, the longer it's gonna take the transfer to me and the longer I take the edit, it's Yeah, so ah. start looking for VCR. <laughs> <laughs> God, Send it through snail mail. <laughs> e- uh, and email and email. Snail. Yeah, basically See we got a lot of work we get to start packaging it discuts. Oh boy! <laughs> Floppy disks. Anyway, that, anyway. That, that that makes me think of something. We could have had podcasting way back when. It'd just be like give them <laughs> CDs and then send it out to people, and they'd listen to it in the cars. No, no, <laughs> yeah. back in the and, tapes. <laughs> no vinyl records, you know. <laughs> yeah, you vinyl record podcast horse code on vinyl records. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even work? <laughs> Like, direct, listen, and, and one, one, guy, one guy was listening on headphones going, well, come to <laughs> a live corner radio. Oh, oh, welcome to a live corner radio. All right, all right. 
just missed that part. You rewind that, yeah. Oh, corn. A-D-O. Stop. I. Ethan. How. Stop. I hate to interrupt it and be like, Mode. Stop. Can I stop now? Stop. Nope. That's all. That sucks. You can't really say stop. We should say stop. It means stop before you make another line. Stop. Stop. Son of a stop. Oh, boy. Oh, well, those okay. are my questions for you guys. Um, do you have any for us? Uh, ask us about it, even the Malaysian fandom if you want to. Um, fine. How's the Malaysian fandom? Good. Good. Okie dokie then. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easiest question ever. Easiest. Muffins. Muffins are One plus one equals one on a bun. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I think we can move on. But actually, um, just personal questions to you two, aside from, you know, asking questions about podcasting. Do you both go for local brony meetups and stuff? I, uh, you asked that, actually. You had already asked what? that question. And I said, I want to, but I really... I Will we on air when we're going to ask that? <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't remember. I can't because there's almost none around here. I don't have any money to go to them. And what, once I make a yeah. portal device... Clay, I will get you to, well, bring us to all the uh, meetups and all the conventions. People are like, how do you keep so fast? We have it's way. magic. Shh. You know what? I just want a hot air balloon. It takes like two months to get to the States. <laughs> <laughs> I just want like, a portal gun now. It's just like, it's like, portal gun. Everybody's looking at portal balloon. There's this gigantic yeah. purple balloon floating by and they're like, who the heck is that? I'd be like, ah, oh. oh, my little pony. <laughs> yeah, when you like, you know. My friendship could be my little pony. <laughs> you all share this magic with me. No, it's like, Indy 71, please come in. Indy 71, please come in. Would you like to request landing clearance? Shh, my little pony. <laughs> <laughs> a radio is literally, the a, literally a radio. <laughs> the cronies have landed. Get to the hot air balloon. But <laughs> now. Okay, so I think we can move on. So, I, before we do, Ethan, you got any links do you want to link to us? Uh, tell anybody where they can find you? Go to the Alicorn Radio Forms. We are growing, we need more. And I will link you that awesomeness right now. Uh, if I beat you to it. <laughs> no! So I'll defeat you with my awesome typing skills. Damn! Oh, got it. <laughs> Copy the... paste. Oh. Always wins. I've been defeated by the copy paste cheat. No. Okay, here's another one. Besides Elicorn forums, where can they find you guys? Facebook. Facebook, <laughs> Twitter. What? Add in a link. Uh, I'll copy paste. <laughs> oh. YouTube. Clay can get Clay can get the Facebook. I'll get the Twitter. That, that's, Actually, I don't have the Facebook. I do have a Twitter though. What? I'm, I don't it's use Facebook at all. I don't even have a Facebook. Well, all that I good salute stuff. people like you, seriously. I call myself a hipster, but you know, people who don't use Facebook, they're ultimate hipsters. Although they can be quite a uh, hassle when you're doing management with Facebook. I just don't <laughs> use Facebook because I don't like it. Meh. It's just like, eh, there's no reason for me to use it. There's all the links of awesomeness. But when people get on Facebook with me, they want to pick a fight with me, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, Facebook's my fortune. That's exactly <laughs> why I don't like using Facebook. I was never on 4chan and Facebook became a... <laughs> Oh, Daniel's online. Let's go bash the crap out of him. <laughs> oh, wait, boy. wait. Are, are you the Daniel I think you are on... Wait, you favorited my page. Did I have you? an extremely long name. Very extremely long name. Yes. Why? <laughs> oh, boy. So, do you guys have any emails that you receive from your fans? No, I haven't we yet. Really, we don't really release... Our emails, um, we normally just oh. the forms. The forms are far superior to give us their fan awesomeness. Yeah, all the corn radio <laughs> forms at all the corn But you don't miss it. It's awesome. Yeah, if you really want to stalk me and email me, my email is on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> if they could see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. So, moving on to shout outs. Anybody have shout outs to give to anybody? I'm I, going... have a, I, I have a shout out, 
and then this is for every single staff member that became an all according uh, the MLP forms. You became Feldo. <laughs> you broke the universe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? It's just now Feldo has clones. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but no, they, no. but they've kind of failed a little bit because <laughs> now the clones don't like, look like exactly like. Seven. And did you know uh, the Genova cells being uh, infected other people, and that's why how soldiers started. <laughs> that's what it is. That's how it is. Zeldo cells are infecting the other people and turn them to alicorns just like Zeldo. So wait, wait, you're saying that uh, Feldo has other clones? <laughs> 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 Well, uh, my shout out is to Dust Shine Elsman and friends. They gave me tickets to Legoland Malaysia. I want to go but to Legoland. I want to go to Legoland. That sounds amazing. It is. I'll post some pictures on just to make you guys jelly. Any other shout outs? Any other awesomeness? Well, I have a few, and believe it or not, Mando Pony's mom is on Twitter. Yes, I know. I know. I actually. <laughs> I, gotta, I, I, gotta I didn't think it was legit. I didn't think it was legit at first. I, I, you know what I did? You know what I did? I asked Ma, uh, Mando, uh, Her mom? Uh, Mando's mom, mommy about if Mando Pony sparkles in the daylight. <laughs> because he says he's a vampire pony. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he, the says he doesn't. He says he doesn't. But I thought it would be nice to get back in him because he didn't respond to my image. I said that I was crushing his uh, <laughs> OC with mine because mine's freaking tall and it's like he's hugging him like the death hug of death <laughs> craziness. And I'm like, That's all you, didn't, you didn't respond to me. I'm going to be me. <laughs> well, she responded to mine, a, f- a few of mine, uh, like she complained yeah. about Mendo eating too much junk food. So I told <laughs> Mendo not to eat too much and her mom agrees with me. Awesome. <laughs> But I need other fights of food. I don't, <laughs> don't want to eat only hay. Well, there's hay fries. Said, when she made her account, she instantly got 90 followers. Instantly. It was like, oh my word. Uh, what is the, this about? The last I saw and uh, subscribed to her was 200 plus. It was awesome. I don't know. Is it legit? Is, is it legit? It seems I legit. So it's, it's like it's like just when Lauren Faust got Twitter, she, she was saying that she just checked it between like twenty minute gaps, and her followers were like multiplying. Yeah, but that's Lauren Faust. This is Mando's mom. But if you really look at the um, display pic, it's a pony sona. Well, hey. maybe she's a brony too. Yeah, I don't I know. Think she is. Well, yes, she is. She because is. these kind of bronies have so, super supportive families where the whole family watches and, you know, it makes me very jelly because my parents and my brother, we all have different tastes and different things. So when one person in this family says, hey, come on, let's watch this. I heard it's a good movie. <laughs> Only one person's going to enjoy it. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Has there been a time in your family that everyone enjoys it? <laughs> hmm. Indeed. Yeah, yeah my we have actually, is we have and my madre, and let's just say my madre calls me a little girl whenever she catches me watching ponies or doing anything with it. So yeah, anyway. only true men watch ponies. Well, Indeed. Watch. And uh, my I, uh, feel sorry. You, what do you want to say? <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> a shout out to Andrew Francis. Big shout out here. I'd like to shout out Bob, Steve, and Frank. They know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside jokes are always funny. Okay, okay, okay. Enough. Let's let's finish this. Let's, let's okay. Give me a second. I need to finish a few. Andrew Francis, here's to you. Thank you for replying to my tweet. Um, if you guys don't know who Andrew Francis is, he's the voice for Shining Armor and Braben. And for the MBS Show Facebook fan page, thank you for liking our page. Please comment and like us some more. And the Twitter bronies. Oh. Oh, the MBS. And don't forget All Corn Radio. We have a Facebook too. Yes, we I like shall. We more stuff this together. So favorite us, like us, because we talk about anime and other stuff as well, and awesome, and, and games. <laughs> well, anyway, um, go subscribe to them. This can be they're... found in the show notes. <laughs> Indeed, they're funny. Go because they're they're entertaining. These two hours of talking with them has been fun. <laughs> Wait, two hours? Yeah. This has been an hour and a half. Well, before Actually. that. It's going to be two hours very soon. You just wait. <laughs> we, we, we will procrastinate the ending of this as long as possible, somehow. 
We shall milk the whole show. Make it two hours long. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. If you... And that's only for the show recording, because after the show, we still talk. <laughs> oh, boy. Long as was up to I kept Norman awake until 5 a.m. Be quiet! <laughs> Okay, um, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com and you can follow us on Twitter at the MBS Show. I'm Norman Sanzo. I'm Daniel Anthony. Now, I'm, I'm crazy today. Ethan. And I'm sorry. This has been our cooperation with all the Korean NBS show. End it now! <laughs> to the moon! <laughs> okay, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and also like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. Um, well... Let's try and end this. I've been Norman Sanzo. I'm Daniel Anthony. We just said our names. Just end it. Crazy <laughs> Clay. This is take two. Uh, well, it's take. take... Okay, <laughs> we'll just see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, there. Mega Man theme. That should be it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where it's from. Now I know. Oh, man, you don't have a childhood then. No, I never did have a good childhood. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, wait, what? I grew up in a cave. <laughs> okay, anyway. Inside that's the base, in a way. Grew up in a cave, inside I'm, I'm, a cave. I'm nuts for dragons, so when someone talks about caves, they're actually pretty uh, awesome to me. So. Uh, but I grew up in a cave, inside a cave.